Hello there, dog lovers! In this episode, we're going to cover a topic that each dog owner has asked himself at least once, and that is why is my dog breathing so fast? What does your dog's shortness of breath mean? Is it simply that you are out for too long, or is it that there's an underlying problem causing difficulty of breathing? And how do you tell those apart? Well, today we're going to talk about the most common reasons your dog might be panting and when it can actually mean that you should react immediately and bring your dog to the vet. This video is based on Barking Royalty's article reviewed by our vet, Margarita Boyd, so if you'd like to check it out, click on the link in the video description box. Now, let's go ahead and learn more about dog's respiratory system and the potential reasons your dog's breathing doesn't seem quite normal. The normal respiratory rate of a dog is between 10 to 35 inhalations and exhalations per minute. This is the normal breathing rate of a dog when at rest. On the other hand, panting can get up to 100 to 350 inhalations and exhalations per minute, which is 10 times faster than the normal rate. But is all panting bad? Absolutely not. Panting is very important in regulating a dog's body temperature. You may not know this, but dogs cannot sweat. So panting is their way of evaporating water and heat and cooling themselves down. That's why it's pretty normal to see your dog breathe at a faster rate after an exercise. However, this kind of breathing shouldn't last more than a couple of minutes. If a dog pants for a longer amount of time or is breathing fast and shallow, it could be a sign of a potential health problem. But how do you tell the difference between abnormal and normal breathing? Well, there are three common signs that usually tell you something is wrong. Number one, abnormal panting happens when your dog doesn't have the need for body temperature regulation. Number two, when breathing seems louder than normal panting. And number three, when your dog seems to be putting more effort into panting. If you notice some or all of these signs, you should take your dog to the vet and get a checkup. But first, let's understand what are the 10 most common causes of fast breathing in dogs. Heat stroke, or overheating, is a serious and life-threatening condition that usually occurs when dogs are left in closed cars or are walked on a very hot day. The clear signs of heat stroke include high body temperature, excessive panting, excessive salvation, bright red gums, increased heart rate, and collapsing. Heat stroke happens rapidly and there's often not a lot of time to do anything. So this is why it's important to do everything possible to prevent overheating from ever happening. Exercise is the most obvious reason for panting, but some dog owners still worry when they see their dog panting after a good run. Usually, a dog's breath rate should go back to normal within minutes, but it may vary depending on your dog's fitness level and weight. Usually, panting after exercise isn't a big deal, unless your dog was exhausted due to running on a very hot day, which is highly discouraged. As you may know, there are certain breeds that have a predisposition for developing breathing difficulties because of their short noses or pushed-in faces. These breeds are called brachycephalic breeds and include pugs, boxers, French bulldogs, and similar breeds. These cuties have narrow windpipes, which makes their breathing less efficient. Unfortunately, this does mean that these dogs are more prone to having higher risk of heart stroke or generally faster rate of breathing. Sometimes it might be really difficult to interpret when a dog's in pain. However, it may be good to know that fast breathing, accompanied by excessive vocalization or constant licking, might be a sign that something is actually hurting your dog. Shallow breathing may be a sign of heart disease, such as heartworm, heart valve disease, patent ductus arteriosus, or PDA, or congestive heart failure. In these cases, fast and shallow breathing is caused by the heart's inability to pump oxygen efficiently. Heart diseases are more often seen in older dogs and are often accompanied by symptoms such as coughing, reduced appetite, lethargy, or swollen abdomen. Milk fever, also known as eclampsia, is a serious condition that occurs in pregnant or nursing dogs. It happens when there is a sudden drop in calcium levels in the blood. Signs of milk fever often include increased breathing rate, tremors, weakness, or complete inability to stand or walk. 
This is a life-threatening condition, making milk fever one of the reasons why pregnant or nursing dogs should be monitored for any changes in their behavior and brought to the vet checkup whenever there are some unusual physical signs. Ticks are known to transmit some pretty dangerous diseases. These parasites can transmit a large number of tick-borne diseases such as Lyme disease, canine anaplasmosis, Rocky Mountain spotted fever, canine babesiosis, and much more. Often, the first sign of tick-borne disease is fever and increased breath rate. After an accident or an injury, a dog might start breathing rapidly as a result of both pain and shock. When dogs are under shock, their body requires higher levels of oxygen, making them breathe faster. So if your dog got into an accident or got hit by a car, panting might be a natural reaction to such an event. However, there's always a possibility your dog may have injured an airway or lungs, which is why it's highly advised to bring your dog to the vet whenever an accident occurs. Behavioral panting is another common reason that doesn't include any serious underlying health issues. Just like some people sigh or breathe in a different manner when they're stressed, dogs can breathe faster than normal when feeling anxious, scared, or stressed. Usually, behavioral panting doesn't appear alone. It's normally presented with trembling, lip licking, yawning, hiding, or excessive barking. When dogs have a lower level of red blood cells than normal, or when they're anemic, their body isn't getting a sufficient amount of oxygen, which leads to faster breathing. Anemia comes with other symptoms like weakness, elevated heart rate, pale colored gums, and a visible mental confusion. Fast breathing can be normal or it can be an indication of an underlying health problem. In some cases, it's completely healthy and a natural reaction of the body trying to regulate its temperature. Well, sometimes it can mean something more serious. Since your dog isn't able to tell you exactly what's going on, it's really crucial that you understand what could be causing your dog's unusual behavior and everything in your power to control and avoid dangerous situations that might put your dog at risk. Whenever in doubt, it's better to be safe than sorry and just contact your vet if you notice any unusual changes in your dog. Now, if you'd like to discover other five common reasons of fast breathing in dogs, check out the link in the video description box and read our article on this topic. If you have any questions related to this video topic, hit the comments section below and we'll be happy to answer. And if you want to stay updated with the latest dog-related topics, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Hi pod dog lovers, and until the next episode.